Hi, Theodore. How are you doing? So I've got your PSD up here, and it looks like what you are attempting is to isolate the, the, the umbrella from the background. But I, I, it looks like you probably selected it and then uh, pasted it on its own layer. Um, and, I, you know, that basically kind of solves the same thing, but it's just a completely uneditable way of doing it. So when you're working with multiple layers and multiple masks, you really need to maintain editability specifically if you're going to be passing your files off to another designer, as you most definitely will when you begin working in a studio. So let me show you what we're going for here. This is a great example. So here is the image right here okay so what the designer did or what your classmate did is, is lock that down first duplicate it then lock the background layer so there's the duplicate layer okay then she selected on the duplicate layer she selected the house and then came down here at the bottom of the layers panel and created a layer mask and what that did is it separated the house from the background Okay, so you can see if I deactivate the layer mask, there's the background. That's what I need from you. And then what she did is lay her um, adjustment layers on top of that. So if we go back to yours, let me show you what I would have done here. Um, and I think the first thing I'm going to do here is flatten that thing. Now, this isn't going to be perfect, but I would have taken this guy and I would have taken my background, duplicate my background. Okay, then on that background layer... First thing I would have done is I would have taken a selection tool. I'm just going to grab this one. And then I would have selected the umbrella and the little, and I'm not trying to be perfect here, okay? So please don't think I'm trying to exactly select that umbrella. And then I would have selected that, and I would have come down here in the layers panel, and I would have said add layer mask. Click that button right there. Now, as you can see, if I take the background away, the background is now gone from the umbrella, and it's editable because all I have to do is deactivate the mask, and the back, and it brings the background right back in to the file. So that's what I want you to do. I'm going to go ahead and grade this, and um, you know, when you resubmit, I'll be glad to adjust your grade. Okay, thanks.